Let's talk about how to prevent bacterial vaginosis. Now, this condition is an overgrowth of a bacteria. Normally, in the vagina, this bacteria is present, but in very small amounts. So it's only when you have an overgrowth that it becomes a problem. So it can create a bad odor, a lot of pain, and also develop into a UTI, a urinary tract infection. And what causes this infection is several things. The big one is being on an antibiotic because there are certain bacteria that are keeping this bacteria in check. And when you get rid of those, then it starts growing in larger amounts. So antibiotics are a big trigger. Uh, dairy, both because dairy does give a person estrogen and higher levels of estrogen can trigger the growth of this bacteria, not to mention the milk sugar feeds this bacteria. Actual sugar can feed this bacteria. Excessive douching can wipe out this bacteria. And of course, the high estrogen, and that can come from taking birth control pills, going on hormone replacement therapy, or even becoming pregnant. Okay? So what can someone do to prevent this condition as well as if you get this condition to get through it A to B? Realize that these bacteria cannot live unless you feed them sugar and especially milk sugar, dairy. So as long as you avoid both of these, you will eventually starve the bacteria. Of course, if you're going to avoid this, guess what you're going to be on? You guessed it, keto. You also want to do a non-dairy probiotic. This can help build back up the defenses. Uh, D-mannose is very, very uh, good if you have a UTI. And so if you have a lot of pain and there's an infection, this is the remedy that you want to take. Number five, boric acid as a suppository. Okay. And six, oregano. You can get these in little pearls and you take them. Uh, take as many as you can, like maybe up to six a day, and this alone can act as a natural bacteria and help to bring this bacteria more into balance. All right, thanks for watching.